Hola. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today we decided to do a video on questions that lesbians get asked. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So she, uh, we have compiled mm -hmm. a list of questions that uh, she's actually been asked by her coworkers. Or you too. And um, also some we found online. Mm -hmm. So. So, we're gonna okay. do 10 questions. Uh, I think that's a good amount. And we're gonna start off with um, the questions that question that she's been asked. Okay, so first question is, honestly, we didn't re rehearse this or anything, so if it kind of lags, then, <laughs> or drags, not lags. You know why. Okay, so first question is, which one of you is the man? Kim. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so um I definitely okay, first. I definitely dress more let's say masculine. masculine than her, but there's no man in the relationship. For obviously both girls. So yeah. um I don't Honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with these questions. I think some people are just really curious and it, it's fine. Um, or, or some people are just not aware. Yeah. And so we don't get offended by these questions. It's, yeah. Um, we think it's funny sometimes, but yeah. we understand that some people just don't know. I, I think know, it only yeah. becomes a problem when people are trying to like justify me or us being with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, there's no man in the relationship. We're Obviously, both girls. Um, one yes. might be dominant in one aspect of the relationship yeah. or another. So, for example, um, I dress more ma masculine and I usually make most of the decisions. Mm -hmm. But um, but she when, can't kill a spider, so I don't there's know. There's a bug in the house. Casey killed it. So. She like really scared, <laughs> so I don't know. So, so then, yeah. I guess there's a, so, there's different parts in being more dominant. Yeah. I think probably that's the only thing. <laughs> mm, yeah, otherwise I make the decisions. Yep. Okay, so next question. Okay, you read it. Question number two. Do you ever look at a man and find him attractive? You want me to answer first? I'll go first and say when I think of attractive, like do I find him handsome? Yeah. I think so. Like I look at a guy and I'm like, dang, he's fine. So mm -hmm. my man crush is um, Josh Hartnett. And yeah, I think he's attractive. Um, well, with me, attraction or the definition of attraction to me is way different. I think um, it's much more than being physically attractive. I mean, do I find other guys cute? Obviously, but attraction to me is like more looks and personality. Mm -hmm. Like I can't be attracted to someone that, or I can't be attracted to a guy that is hot physically, but his personality sucks. Like he, I don't know. Like uh, that that so attraction. Saying, like I'm more like. So she's saying that attraction has to be like the whole combo package. Yeah, like, that's just my everything. definition. I don't know about any, everyone else's definition, but yes, do I find other guys? Cute or yes, I do, but attraction is just a different definition. Oh. No. <laughs> so do you know a Josh Hartnett? <laughs> what? <laughs> when did you know you were gay? So for us, these are different. For us, for us, this is <laughs> like diff oh. different stories. Um, I definitely knew in the eighth grade. I specifically knew because I was like so attracted to one of like my classmates and I just didn't know what was going on. But um, yeah, I didn't know what it was at that time because I was just like so confused. There was like nothing on the internet. It wasn't like really like spoken about. But when I look back now, it was definitely in the eighth grade that I knew that I was... For sure. Yeah, for sure attracted to the same sex. How about you? Um, 
I guess mine was a different story. Um, I guess like I don't know. It's just hard to answer this because I've never ever. Obviously, if you haven't, if you haven't seen my other video or other videos, I've never been with another girl, nor did I ever feel like this for another girl. So, um, I guess when I met Kim, I mean, I really wouldn't label it like that. That's when I knew I was attracted to the same sex. Yeah, it's tough because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I, don't I think labels, whatever, I don't think, I, I think labels are for, I guess, what other people want to, like, if someone were to call me gay, like, I don't care. If someone were to say I was bi, I don't care. It's whatever, it's yeah, your I, perception on what you want to. I think it's tough, though, because we were, we were talking about it, like, if, if, like, I were to, like, pass away or she had to, like, find someone else, like, I don't think she would immediately be only limiting herself to girls. Or would she even consider just, oh, I'm bisexual? Like, I think she just fell in love with, it, with... I think I happened to come around and she fell in love with who I, I was, so... It, I mean, I think it's hard for people to understand that, which I... It does, you know, it, which... I, I guess... I don't say don't care. Which is understandable. Yeah. Like, um... Um... But I know how I feel and I really don't. Yeah, some it doesn't people, bother me that. Yeah, some people clearly identify with lesbian. They will only strictly be with girls. Some are bisexual. There's her who she just happened to fall in love with. So, sex. like, it wasn't. I, like, to me, I just wouldn't label it, but I also I'm, don't care the same way. Like, I'm with the girls, obviously. You can call me lesbian, gay, bi, whatever. I, I don't know. I don't really, really don't know. I, I just don't believe in labels. Mm, in labels, so I think there are, like she said, there's people that are attracted to one sex and that's fine, but I just don't. I've been attracted to both, so I don't know. Yeah. Number four, if you dress, if you like women, why do you date ones that dress like men? Okay, so. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there are female females that who dress who dress more masculine, and that's just who they are. I feel like that's what they identify, and then that's where they feel the most comfortable with. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um. Most like women who date don't necessarily date women who just dress like men it's just that's what right. that's ha that happens to be how they dress like that happens to be the person they fell in love with and that's how they dress that's it so there's guys there's straight guys that dress like more feminine and they're considered metro and that's just how they are like there's no there's no like kind of reasoning behind it like they fell in love with that person yeah um it's, um you just fall in love with their personality. I, I guess they just so happen to fall for girls that dress like guys. I don't. I think. Yeah, I just don't think too much into I it. I mean, just they dress like guys or it's dress just more masculine. More masculine. Yeah. Like so. I, I think. So what? Uh, like if they want to wear like. Not wear heels and wear just shoes all the time. They're comfortable. Like that's. Yeah, their I choice. think like, it did. They just so happen to be end up with a girl that. Guess more masculine or whatever. Yeah, but in the end, it's really their personality that, or how they treat them is yeah. what they fell in love with. Like, then again, like some guys or some people just don't know, so it's like here it is. Yeah. Here's the explanation. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number five. Uh, number five. How do you know if you're loving if you've never had sex with a guy? Um, I've gotten asked this question probably a bajillion times, <laughs> so, which like I get, again, no, I don't care because like people are just really curious and it doesn't bother me, honestly. Um, I mean, I don't know and I don't care at the same time to, like, I'm not really curious, I really don't care, so I guess I will never know, but then again, I... Like I said, I fell for Kim for who she was, not because she was a girl. Being, 
the whole sexual part has nothing to do deal with do with me being with her or me being in love with her. Um, so like again, it goes back to being having labels. Like I just, how do you know you're straight if you've never been with the same sex? Ooh, damn. So. I mean, if you look at it that way. Well, for me, how do I know if I'm lesbian if I've never had sex with a guy? Well, first of all, I don't just jump into sex like with anyone. By the way, I've... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So for, first of all, I don't just jump into sex with anyone. Before I would even commit to something like that, I would see if I connect with them emotionally and on a greater level further than attraction. So I haven't been able to do that with any guy granted i've been attracted to guys but emotionally connect with them i've never gotten to that level that i've gotten to with females and so i don't have to have sex with a guy to know that i'm lesbian because they can't um connect to me in, in a way that females do and so i'm not even gonna go there because i feel like sex is such an intimate and like yeah like such a it's such a like, special thing Like that it's not I'm not going to go there for fun. I'm going to go there because I connect with you in that way. Yeah, I agree. I just don't care. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I never really thought about it, to be honest. Uh, I guess this is one of the questions uh, Casey gets asked a lot. And I have well, been before. questioned by my family members. So they said, don't you want children? This is before the twins, by the way. So it's a very archaic type thing to think that children are only made via a man and woman um, having intercourse. I mean, even heterosexual couples like have difficult time have difficult times getting pregnant and they have to use technology to assist with pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So lo and behold, uh, lesbians have or bisexual couples have used that technology as well and we can use that so we've gotten asked many times before and look at us now we have two beautiful twins yeah that i mean i i would just assume people would know there's other ways to have kids aside from a man and woman having sex but I mean, people just don't know i guess actually there's many advantages <laughs> too because you do have to do much, a lot of testing uh, before you uh, have a kid come into this world, so yeah, yeah. So I mean, there was an advantage. Like I was able to um, tell if there was anything wrong with me prior to me trying to get pregnant. As far as like, I got blood tests done, um, medical history, medical history from the donor, my, from the donor and and as well. So. They checked my fallopian tubes, right? Um, so and basically everything. So that was an advantage of doing. Um, getting pregnant this way yeah so um yeah we, don't you want children yes and you can even though you were the same sex if that if someone's I mean, we had two so yeah you can get more than two <laughs> you get more than one all right number okay, seven mm -hmm. yeah how can you like girls if you're so girly um i actually never got in this question before but we saw this on the internet and I'm pretty sure people have gone and asked this question because it just sounds like some thing someone would ask. Um, but then it stems back to like, like what we previously stated. Yeah. Um, you're not falling in love in love with anyone's um, looks per se. It's it looks are what attracts you, but personality well, attracts, is yeah. what keeps you. Yeah. So, so yeah, this person's girly, but if they fall in love with how you are and how you treat them then that's that's it like mm -hmm. there's no there's no rhyme or reason between how any yeah. of them look girly or not like it all stems down to like connection and chemistry so yeah that's to answer that question and um your turn. number eight do your periods sink so our periods usually don't. But Actually, it has never synced until recently. But 
uh, they'll kind of overlap over the years. And yeah, I would say like uh, last month we had our period at the same time, which is a shock. Which is we've been together for nine years and we've known each other ten years. Because PMS is real and we do have our like uh, moments, snappier, grumpier sides when we're on, on our, our periods. Period. It's more so. emotional. It's it's just the hormones, but yeah, it only happens like. Very rarely though. Yeah. That we it only the started honestly recently, like she said last month. Yeah, so. it's very rare that we have it at the same time. Yep. Uh, Number nine. What do you like being in a same-sex relationship? I mean, there's we don't always have to be asked negative questions. There's always a positive. What'd you say, honey? Um. <laughs> very positive. Well, I would say we share the same clothes, but we rarely, we don't have the same style or she likes bigger clothes. Oh, same panties. Yeah, so. <laughs> but as uh, far as clothing, yeah, we rarely know, wear the guys, same clothing. Like, it might be weird to other people, but yeah. we do share the same panties. But as far as clothing, um, we have, like I said, we have different style. I like uh, my clothes a little smaller. She likes them more big. We share the same makeup. I think that's. Oh, makeup. makeup. That's. Oh, um, toothbrush too sometimes. That's gross. Well, but then same sex. So it doesn't matter I the same sex. I didn't want that, but she, yeah. So makeup, we spend a lot, but we save a lot because we share the same makeup. So um. or like facial products. I think one of the biggest things about being in a relationship with another female is that we can emotionally connect on a level that we normally don't do with, um, I would say, with males. Uh, we're more emotional and we understand each other in that way. Not saying obviously that there are guys that are not emotional or not understanding, but right. But like the majority of the time, I feel like obviously females can connect on a greater level. Yeah. Like, emotional thing is the biggest thing, but honestly, like she's my best friend and yeah. we. We're besties. We love doing everything together and mm -hmm. I just I just can't imagine like feeling the same way with like a guy. A guy. Yeah. Like just yeah. everything. Foods we eat, workouts, um It can be like workouts under too, I guess. understanding, like or just I don't know. I mean everything. Or it might just be her. Yeah, I think it's just me. <laughs> okay, question number ten. Do we have a 10? So we don't have a question number 10. Let's oh make it up right now. Okay. So um, one of our questions is, is more like a statement, but um, when people ask you like, is this a phase? So I find it very offensive, but also like we mentioned, most people aren't aware mm -hmm. and so they're kind of oblivious to, oblivious to, to like how... what what it means so when they ask that they're really not aware so yeah. is this a phase is such a generalized statement it's not really a, like a direct like question for a specific person because everyone is so different so Casey has a story that she'd like to share, and then I have. One uh, as well. So I have this. Um, There's this girl at my work, and she had went up to me because she knew that I was with Kim, and um, I think she said her daughter was like 10 or something. It was, she was young, like 10 or 12 or something. And she's all my gut. My daughter. My daughter. My daughter just came out to me, so okay. she said she was gay. Um, and she's just wondering if she's telling the truth or if this is a phase she's going through. And I had mentioned to her that I'm not going to speak. I don't. I don't know any other. Um, I can't speak for every lesbian in, or gay person in this world, but I told her what I went through, and um, I also did mention that. I just remember right now. I did mention that there are some girls that, or. I could say mostly girls because this is what I experienced. I, I believe there are some girls out there that think, find it cool to like be with the same sex. Mm -hmm. 
um, cause I've seen it firsthand by, you know, I don't know. But I mentioned that too, and then I was like, um, you know, if she's telling you that, in the end I said, if she's telling you that she's gay, you kind of should just take it with what it is. Mm -hmm. And if she ends up being with a guy, then she ends up being with a guy. Like, it's not really, you don't, you sh it just, it is what it is. And if she ends up being with a girl, great. But I think as of right now, if she's telling you like, mom, I'm gay, then just believe her and support her. She and she wasn't asking me like she supports her 100%. Like she supports the whole LGBT. She just was wondering if at, at that person at that age can know. If, and if I, you can I, I yeah, and I and I believe you you can know. And 10 is 10 or 12 is pretty old. Yeah, you need no, to know like, enough feelings. Yeah. And then with that being said, like I had a best friend who like dated women all her life and I knew her to be like hardcore just for sure lesbian and then she ended up being with a guy and no surprise I mean she ended up falling in love with who he was and how he treated her and so I'm not gonna be mad at that and so when you say is it a phase no mm, I it's that's very offensive again it just comes down to like I think you fall in love with who a person is not limiting yourself to 50% of, yeah. of the population. And you know, so. like I said, there's some people just that just don't, just want their own gender and that's fine. And that's fine. But I truly believe that anyone could fall for any know, sex, any person. If you allow yourself. If you, yeah. Um, right. And it all just comes out. Yeah. yeah. In the end, it's just the person I feel. Same. Yeah. But again, at, at the end of the day, it's Whatever you identify with, it's your choice. What makes you happy? Like, there's no judgment. Like, yeah. But we think like that in the end, they like. Does it really matter? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Just do what makes you happy. Yeah. I think if in it, the end, being do what happy. makes you happy if it doesn't hurt anyone. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It, it might hurt your family. <laughs> okay. Never mind. See, we're not gonna do just... what makes you happy for love. Yes. No, you might be getting with someone that has yeah, Never mind. Okay, never mind. It's so that. we wanted to add something very like I don't know. cool. I have to pee. Yeah. But anyways, so yeah. So this was fun. Yeah. Honestly, we just we didn't know that what we were gonna answer. So. Mhm. Mm yeah, we never script anything. So. so yeah. Uh, we will come out with more videos as promised. As promised, I know but, we um, live. We're really busy with the kids and yeah, blah blah no, blah. But we're really good. trying. We're really yeah. really trying. But um, and the kids are actually with my cousin and sister, and it looks like they're back. So yeah, but from everyone, the park. Everyone stay safe. It's All right. Tough times, but um, <laughs> we hope our videos. Take you away from this madness, even if it's only for 10 minutes. Yes. So, well, we'll thank you again for watching, watching us. And, uh, yeah. we'll comment come up. if you like oh. the video, like <laughs> and, and subscribe. subscribe. And we'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.